what is going on guys stormcat back with another video and this one we are going to be doing our very first mod showcase uh so in my installation video on how to get mods i actually mentioned heroes mod and that's what we're going to be going over today if you want to know how to install mods and don't know yet definitely check out my video in the top right hand corner i'll put a card up there for you uh check out that video on my channel it's going to show you a very easy guide on how to install mods and for this one, what we're going to do is, you know, go to mod browser and just type in hero after that, uh, download and it will be in your mods like it is here before you load in your world, guys, make sure to always reload mods. That way all of them are activated. So what we're going to do now is load up into one of our worlds and I'm going to show you guys some really cool features of heroes mod. All right, guys, so we are loaded in here and we have Heroes Mod activated and you will know it is activated if you have this little toolbar down here. All right, so we're going to go left to right and just show you everything that is available in Heroes Mod. First, we have the item browser and this is literally everything in the game. So you're going to be able to grab any item you want super, super quick just by searching for it. And we got Savage Venom as a subscriber. Thank you, Savage Venom, for subscribing to the channel. Uh, anyway, we can, you know, look up any item. And you can do A to Z. You can do it by its ID number. You can do it by its value. And, uh, you know, so we have a whole bunch of different items that you can pick from. Obviously, every single item in Terraria is listed. And what's really cool about this is even if you have a mod, it will be completely compatible. So if you want to cheat and grab some items from a mod, like maybe you want to build something really cool and you have a building mod, you can just grab the blocks instead of crafting them. So it's pretty much Terraria creative, but it's also compatible with mods. So you can grab any item you please. Another cool thing about the creative is you can filter it from weapons, tools, armor, accessories, ammo, potions, expert mode, pets, mounts, dyes, boss summons, consumables, fishing, and your mods. So that's really cool. That is the creative aspect of the heroes mod. Next guys, we have the enable infinite reach and I use this for my builds all the time, which I actually haven't done in quite a while. If you want to see more of the time-lapse build videos, guys, please definitely drop a comment down below saying you want to see that or what you want to see me build. Uh, but anyway, we can enable infinite reach, and as you can see, I can mine blocks all the way over here, and I have infinite reach throughout the entire map. Uh, take note that if you try to turn smart cursor on, you cannot have infinite reach mode on at the same time. Next guys, another really cool feature for building. Um, this is how I take some of my screenshots for my thumbnails. You can do enable fly camera and what you can do is fly your camera around without your character. So let's say I want a really clean picture of this tree. I can fly camera over here and take a screenshot. Next guys, we have yet another really good um, option for helping you build so you know if you have a whole bunch of enemies that are just bugging the crap out of you while you're trying to build and they keep knocking you off and whatnot you can disable enemy spawns and it actually disabled that squirrel so it disables passive spawns as well uh, but nevertheless it will disable all spawns so you know nothing's gonna bother you no enemies are gonna kill you stuff like that all right we'll enable that and uh, the next feature we have is actually the um, trash button. The trash icon will co clear all items on the ground. So let's throw a few items out and let's say, you know, maybe we've been mining for a really long time and we don't want all of those items all over the ground. You click this and it will go away. So all items will be cleared from the world. Next guys, yet another one that is really, really good for building, you know, lighting, um, different times of day so that you can get certain fish and certain items and whatnot is this little sundial button and it changes the time slash rain. So what you can do is stop the rain if it's currently raining. 
start the rain so you can see it's raining we can stop it and it'll stop raining this one will stop a sandstorm this one will start a sandstorm this one will make it nighttime and this one will make it noon in the day uh, this one which I really like is pausing the time you can pause the time and keep it exactly where it is at noon uh, that way when I'm building it will never go dark and I can always see very well next guys you can do force enchanted sundial so if you don't have one you can click that and as you can see it will change the time really fast all right so that is the time of day one next we have the view waypoints um, so I actually haven't played around with this too much, but I do know what it does What you can do is add a waypoint and wherever you're standing will become a waypoint Let's make this one spawn shall we so we'll create that waypoint right there. It's called spawn All right, so you know once you have actually created that waypoint what I'm gonna do is actually move far away and you go to your waypoints, click spawn, and it will actually teleport you to your waypoint. Uh, so this is one of the best features of this mod, guys. You know, you can set a waypoint at the dungeon, at Plantera's boss bulb, uh, in case you forget where it's at. You can set it in the underworld. You can set it in the sky biome. You can set it anywhere. And then all you have to do is simply click on your waypoint, and you will teleport there. So no need for teleports. Um, you know, you don't have to wire up all the teleporters and whatnot. There's no need for even any travel as long as you've been somewhere. You can go super, super quick. All right, next, guys. This is something I actually use quite a bit for my videos whenever I was doing the all boss video. Or anytime I need to show you guys how to fight a boss, we have the open mob spawn window. And you can literally spawn any mob. So let's. Uh, say we go to bosses um, these are all sorted in different categories from all to NPCs to mods to bosses and friendly uh, so friendly are obviously like ducks and goldfish um, you know stuff like that things that aren't gonna hurt you like even the bound wizard and mechanic and we have bosses here so let's just boom click on the brain of Cthulhu and as you can see the brain of Cthulhu spawns now he ran away just because I'm not in the crimson uh, but let's say we spawn the golem. Boom. All you got to do is click it and he spawns right there. Uh, so it's a really cool feature to just be able to spawn whatever you want. You know, whenever I make a video showing you guys how to farm something um, and I need an enemy to spawn and it just won't, I can click that button and show you guys exactly what the drop is that they give. Or maybe just spawn a whole bunch of them to show you guys the actual odds of the drop. So, you know, that's a really cool function to be able to spawn whatever you want, whenever you want. Uh, makes things a lot easier for YouTube, that is for sure. And uh, makes things a lot easier for farming, too. Alright, we killed the golem. Next, guys, we have the open buff window. And the buff window is really cool because you can give yourself any buff in the game. So let's say that I want to have infinite uh, lava resistance. So um, what you can do is really pick any time you want. So I'm just going to type a crap ton of ones and zeros in here uh, to give me like a hundred thousand or that's a million seconds of obsidian skin. And what I'm going to do is click obsidian skin. And as you can see, I'm going to have obsidian skin for 11 days because that is the equivalent of 1 million seconds, I guess. So, um, you're going to, you know, be able to pick any buff that you want and you're going to be able to have it for infinite amount of time. So that's really cool. Uh, being able to have all buffs is a really good thing for different boss fights or just showing different effects in videos and whatnot. Uh, so I'll be able to have that obsidian skin buff for 11 days. Um, so that will never go away unless I clear it by right clicking it. All right, next guys, we have the toggle God mode. So uh, God mode is going to kill everything if you touch it. Um, and you're not going to be able to be damaged at all. So uh, you're not really in creative, but you cannot be damaged. So that's a really cool option to have. 
you know, if you just want to showcase something uh, and not be bothered by dying or taking any damage or whatnot. Uh, so that is Toggle God Mode. Next, guys, is another really cool uh, option you have with this mod, and it is the Prefix Editor. So you can select any accessory slash weapon, and you can pick what prefix it has so that you can get the best prefix. Uh, this is really good for if you're trying to develop an all-item world for people to download, uh, you can use that to get the very best prefix for all weapons. Uh, next, guys, we have the miscellaneous options, which are actually really good for YouTube videos uh, once again. Um, so you can set your spawn point. You can reveal the entire map, which is really good. Uh, so, you know, I can see the entire map even though I haven't been there. So if I need to find something, it's right there in front of me. We also have the light hack. Um, so if you enable that and you turn it up, you can actually see the whole map as if it were daytime so um like i can see just like what the map looks like right underneath me so finding things is really easy so you know if i'm making a video or something and i need to find a specific item for you guys that is a super easy way to do it next guys we have disable gravestones that way you know if you die and uh, a whole bunch of gravestones are popping up and you don't want to see them anymore uh, you can disable gravestones. This last option on the right, guys, is the extension tool. And it says, no mods loaded that add extensions. See forum posts for compatible mods. So what you can do is download other mods that are compatible with Heroes mod. And they will add certain options for you. So it's really cool to be able to add on top of an already really great mod. Uh, just by simply downloading a second mod, you can add some more options to this one. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can also click this arrow to hide your little Heroes mod. But Heroes mod is fantastic. I hope you guys really do go ahead and try this out. Uh, so many great, great uses for this mod. Definitely hit that sub button if you do enjoy these mod reviews and would like to see more mod showcases. Drop a like if you did enjoy Heroes Mod, and I will see you guys in the next video. Definitely check out one of my other videos on screen. On the right is one YouTube suggested you, and on the left is my most recent upload. Also consider hitting that middle subscribe button if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.